All right, guys. Let's quickly understand what is the role of partitioner uh, in MapReduce framework. So, partitioner first thing is it sits between Map and Reduce. It takes the input of Map task and assigns a partition ID to every key value pair which is emitted by a mapper. The role of partitioner is to basically make sure that the same key goes to the same reducer. So, we all know that basically the output of mappers you know is shuffled across and reaches the reducers and the idea is to have a list of values corresponding to the same key right now the same key could be emitted by multiple mappers across machines and to make sure that all of those records with the same key reach the same reducer partitioner is basically used for that right so let's say uh, let's take an example so i have this example prepared so let's say your input is basically an employee ID, department, a category and expenses. Okay, so your different employees in different departments are let's say spending money on different categories and your problem statement is first problem is find total expenses for each employee. So you're not putting any condition here. All you want is I want to know what is the total expenses for each employee ID, right? So in this case, your key is going to be your employee ID and obviously your value is going to be the expenses, right? When every mapper emits this key and this value, right? This key and this value, all you want to make sure is that the same key goes to the same reducer. Now let's take an example that you are running two reducers, right? So what will happen is let's say this part goes to first mapper, this part goes to some other mapper, Okay, you might have more than two mappers also, but let's say the number of reducers are two, right? So one mapper will say my key is one and value is 100. Some other mapper could say my key is one and my value is 2000. Now, to calculate the total expenses of employee one, you want these two values to be together, you know, present at a reducer so that you can aggregate them, right? So first mapper will emit this key okay and the partitioner will make sure that it assigns a partition id to this output of map right and the way it does is it basically uses a hash function on the key and then it divides it by the number of partitions so number of partitions is nothing but number of reducers right so now because the same method is applied on the output of all the map tasks it makes sure that you get the same partition ID when the key is same, right? So your 100 and 1, 2000, they will get assigned the same partition ID. And then corresponding to the partition ID, a reducer will fetch that output of map, right? So in this case, what can happen is, let's say your 1 uh, and 3 and let's say 5, all of them get partition ID 0, right? So see, basically the idea is that the same key should get the same partition ID. Multiple different keys can also go to the same partition ID, but the same key should never go to different partitions, right? Same key should go to same partition. So let's say one, three and five, all of them go to the same reducer. So all of them get assigned the same partition ID. So in that case, your output, basically if you are running two reducers, you will have two output files. In one file, you will have, have total expenses of 1, 3 and 5, right? And in the second file, you will have total expenses of 2, 4 and 6, right? Now, let's modify this statement a little bit. So, I, I hope the default partitioner, this is like a default partitioner, right? The default partitioner basically calculates a hash on your key and divides it by the number of partitions. Now, in what cases would you like to write your own partitioner? Now, just look at the second problem. Here also, we want to find the total expenses of each employee, but with a condition. The condition is I want a separate file for separate departments. So now I also want to consider department. What I want is, so basically I have put a condition that I want uh, total expenses of 1, 2 and 3 in one file and total expenses of 4, 5 and 6 in another file. So in this case, first thing is you need to know how many different departments are there so that you can run 
that many reducers right because that information has to be present number of reducers that you are going to run is based on number of departments so now let's say we know that there are two departments so i am running two reducers right but in the previous case employee id 1 3 and 5 had gone to the same reducer so 1 and 3 belong to sales but 5 belongs to engineering so we had a mixed output right because we had not even considered what department an employee belongs to we simply calculated the hash on the employee id and then according to the partition id we aggregated them together in one file right but here the condition is i want to send all the employees with, uh, with employee uh, with department as sales to one reducer and other employees with department as engineering to a different reducer so my custom partitioner would look something like this here i am checking that if number of partitions is not equal to 2 i'll just emit an error all right because the number of partitions have to be two here because i know that there are two departments right in this case you could run three reducers four reducers or 10 reducers any number of reducers and it would have worked but here because the condition is that you want uh, your uh, output to be separate for uh, separate departments right so you have put a condition that you want two output files so now my partitioner in this case is based on department so you also note that uh, output of mapper needs to contain the department now in this case we were not emitting the department so now output of mapper will contain department also and in your partitioner you will check if the department is sales then return 0 if the department is engineering then return 1 right so that way records with 100 200 3 300 and 1, 2,000, 2, 3,000 and 3, 4,000. These records will go to the same reducer and these records will go to a different reducer, right? And in your reducer, what you will do is in your reducer, you will actually drop this part of the key because you don't want your expenses uh, totaled by the department. What you will do is you will just drop it and in your output, you will say for this ID, what is the total expenses? I hope it makes sense. Right. So your partitioner is basically to make sure that the same key goes to the same reducer. Your multiple keys, multiple different keys can go to the same reducer, but the same key will never go to the different reducers. That's it.